In today's adventure, we got the best and the greatest item in Pokemon Go, the Master Ball, again. Okay, and check out how we're starting this adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, a shiny Rhyhorn. Hello, 588 CP. Let's go ahead and grab this full odd shiny. There's absolutely zero events going on right now with the Rhyhorn, and we got a shiny right there. That's a great start for the adventure. I'll tell you that right now. Bada bing, bada boom. Down it goes, shiny Rhyhorn, 588 CP. IVs, it's a zero star. Five, five, 10. It's kind of cool, I guess. How random is that? Why is there a Rhyhorn? I don't know, but that's that's awesome. Today's a big day, and it's a pretty awesome catch to start this thing so let's uh let's enjoy that but ladies and gentlemen what we're doing today is getting our master ball i have had this research on my screen in my account for weeks if not months and i finally got it done we have a ton of xp to grab right here that's 8,000. that's 16,000. i accidentally tagged two of them already but if you want to do the math that is a lot of xp gained right here right now i think it was uh gosh is it a, is it a hundred thousand xp probably because then we're also going to get twenty thousand xp at the end three thousand dust and the master ball the greatest item in Pokemon Go, the best item in Pokemon Go is the Master Ball. And this is our second one. Of course, we got to go through the epic animation. This has only ever happened to me once, so I'm going to appreciate this. There's a bug on my phone. <sighs> go away. There it is. Master Ball is mine yet again. Not that I lost the first one. I still have that one. I still haven't used it yet, but there is another one. Give me 3,000 dust, the 20,000 XP, and oh, there's no Master Ball screen. It's all good. We finally got it out of the way, and now my events page is nice. Oh my gosh, there's so many flies here. Now my events page is nice and cleared up and we got ourselves a Master Ball, let's check it out. There it is, two Master Balls in the count. Now that I have two of them, and now that it seems like we're getting one with each season of Pokemon Go, I think I'm ready to use it, because I haven't been needing to use it for raids. I feel like I'm pretty clutch with the raids, but we're nowhere, and I mean nowhere near clutch with those legendary birds. So um, I think we're gonna end up using it on a legendary bird pretty soon here, maybe today. But speaking of legendary things, I have a special trade coming up with Connor. Let's go find him and get this done. And now it's time for a special trade. We haven't done one in a while. I haven't done one the whole time since I've been back, right? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. We're trading away shiny Guzzlord. We got this for the first time. I only have one. Connor's trading me his. How many do you have? Just one. Just one. All right. We were going to wait for Lucky, but we have not been Lucky friends in forever. That's not true. I feel like we got like 10 times this year, but it's been a while. Anyways, shiny Guzzlord Lucky trade. I had a pretty good IV one too, by the way. 1650 is what we're looking for. Let's see. That's a good point. We did just trade like last week, so my bad. The Guzzlord is not great. We we're looking for 1650. We got 1596. So, uh, Oh, okay. It's a two star, but we went from like a nine. I think I had like a 91 or 93% IV one to uh, this one, which is not great, but it's worth a shot. I can't say I was going to max that one out or anything. So it was fun. It's a re-roll. Not a good IV one, but that was fun. Well, that trade wasn't that great. It's fine, but we are jumping into a Cubone costume raise. So let's see what we can get here. No luck on the Duskull and, you know, probably no luck on the Cubone. But down it goes right there. Ladies and gentlemen, go to summary. I got a beautiful view in the background here. This would be a great place to get the shiny 556 CP. Pretty sure that's not going to be too great. All right. I am trying though, man. I, I grinded a lot yesterday for those dust goals. I even went home and popped a few incenses and I've grinded today thus far, but no luck. No luck. Oh, uh, okay. That's a three star. All right. Oh, you know what? Speaking of luck. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let's check everything here. Speaking of luck, we do have something pretty incredible that I caught yesterday. Or, no, no, no. Wait, that was today. Actually, I caught this this morning. I got to show that off to you guys really quick. Let's get a shiny check on everything here. Do we have anything at all? No. Ladies and gentlemen, look what I caught off my Pokemon Go Plus for the, oh, no, 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 for the first time in, uh, shoot, it's been a couple months, a hundo, a hundo Geodude off the Go Plus. I'm pretty sure I have a hundo in this family. Let's double check that right here, right now. Geodude, hundo, yeah, it's my second one ever, but I Go Plus the hundo Geodude. How cool is that? It's not common to uh, get hundos, and it's definitely not common to Go Plus the hundo, but we did just that. What an awesome catch, huh? This has been good, bro. We got a Master Ball, we got a Shiny, we got a hundo. What's next? A bird? But you love to see that, a new hundo in the collection our first one of my return let's rename it and let's appreciate it and speaking of returns not really we have the debut of a new mega pokemon mega garchomp one of the most exciting mega debuts we've had really ever mega garchomp is making its debut on saturday november 11th with a mega garchomp raid day from 2 to 5 p.m mega garchomp is coming to pokemon go it's got an absolutely beautiful pink shiny it's awesome it does make up for how bad shiny garchomp is on its own so we can appreciate that event bonuses remote raid pass limit will be increased to 10 so you know that's kind of nice during the entire saturday november 11th so that's awesome you can get five free raid passes from spinning gyms plus your daily and the one from the day before if you don't use that so that's seven free raids if you want to do it in person there are increased chances of encountering a shiny garchomp from mega raids which is cool unfortunately garchomp is not available in the 
wild ever, right? Yeah, so you can't really get the shiny outside of uh, these raids, to be honest. Unless they ended up changing it, that'd be cool. We also have an event ticket. I did not see this for $5. You will get eight free roll raid passes for a total of 15, I think, would be what I added earlier. An increased chance to get rare candy XL from raid battles. That's huge. I, you know, last time they said we get an increased chance of rare XL candies, which was, you know, the other day, it wasn't really much of an uh, increased chance. 50% more XP from raids and two times Stardust from raids. Honestly, not that worth it, uh, unless you do care about getting a good Garchomp, you do care about the energy, because $5 for eight raid passes, I guess makes sense. Plus those bonuses are not too bad, so it's not honestly the worst thing ever. Web store deal, you can spend $5 to get three raid passes and two raid passes, sorry, three remote raid passes and two regular ones. Not a bad deal either if you guys wanna get some raid passes from the store, or you can spend 595 Poke Coins to get the same deal of three remotes and two in-person raid passes, but through the game. I love buying stuff on the web store because they really do have better deals sometimes, especially when you buy coins, buying it through there is the best way, in my opinion. But uh, either way, bro, Mega Garchomp is making its debut. It's gonna be great. Mega Garchomp is a dragon and ground type Mega Pokemon, and those are incredibly useful types, especially dragons, of course. And I know not everyone can get a Mega Rayquaza or a Primal Groudon, so this is your next best thing. And Mega Garchomp is going to be an absolute beast in PVE. It's gonna be awesome for raids, awesome for battling grunts and leaders and all that. So, and it's got a crazy moveset. Garchomp is one of the best Pokemon in the game. So overall, this is an absolute W. We were expecting this, but it's nice to get the confirmation here and Mega Garchomp right day is gonna be fun. Okay, well listen, we have two Master Balls and I wanna see if we're gonna use one today. Pop the Daily Incense, see if we can get a bird. First spawn is a Sun Kern. It's not what we're looking for. Don't plan on using the Master Ball on that. But honestly, other than a bird, I do wanna get some shiny Duskor costume uh, Cubone. So let's focus on that too. Not gonna lie, I would be pretty disappointed if I can't get one. And how about that for a Daily Incense spawn of Wigglytuff? That is not gonna get Master Balled, but I'll give it an Ultra Ball, all right? It's gonna be a tough one to catch. Um, Now, quick rule on the Master Ball. I'm not gonna use it on the first bird I see. I don't really care which bird I use it on, to be honest. I think I'm only gonna use it on a bird that is a level one or over 3,000 CP. So that might not be until, you know, next year, who knows? It's hard enough to find a bird and then to get one that's either a level one or, wait, what is that? Is that a Phantom? It is. No, I said Phantom. No. Oh. And ran away. And here's another Phantom since we lost the last one. Not shiny. But yeah, I'll use it when we run into a level one or one that's over 3,000. So wish me luck, I guess. Oh, we got a Teddy Ursa. Uh, no. Let me know in the comments if you guys have used your Master Ball yet. I think other than a bird, obviously I'm saving it for like a hundo that I really want. If I can't get it and I want like the last ball, I guess I'd use it. I don't plan on getting in that situation. I hope I would get it before I needed to use the Master Ball, but you never know. Especially for like a shadow hundo, that would be awesome. And I think the only other scenario is if I like, if I ran into like an Azelf or something, like a wild legendary like that, that'd be kind of cool too. Also, we're getting a two kilometer egg, Chin Chow. Oh, here we go, Dusk on the incense, no. You know what? I would also use it if I had a Shundo. Like if there was like a Hundo spawn right here and my somebody called it out and I clicked on it and it was shiny, I think I would do it because obviously the Shundo would be cool on its own, but that would be even more awesome to catch with a Master Ball. I guess it would depend on the Pokemon, I don't know. But yeah, let me know if you guys have used your Master Ball yet or what you plan to use it on, you know? Got a Swirlix. I Still don't have this shiny. Oh my gosh, hold on. We're interrupted by some 12 kilometer eggs. I mean, hopefully we can get something good here, but we got a dino right there. We got a pan cham right there, not shiny. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. And the last egg's another pan cham. Of course we only hatch eggs, bro, <laughs> when we use our daily incense. Like they wait until you pop your incense and they're like, you know what? Let's hatch all his eggs right now. Also, speaking of wasting the incense, um, we only have a few hours left in this event. And there's a costume cubone raid with like three minutes left on it. And I kind of want to do it. I think it's okay to sacrifice a bit of the incense time to go do that raid. So let me get like one or two more spawns on the incense. I think I'd rather prioritize the costume shiny that's only available for a limited time, Rag and Rolla. I'm not even gonna bother catching it. Let's hop into this raid and see if we can get it. Okay, here we go. Probably our last chance. This is actually my last remote raid of the day too. So this would be a pretty fitting way to end it. I only have, what, two hours left in this costume or Dia de Muertos event. It'd be cool if we can clutch it. We clutched the Duskull last year, which was awesome, but I don't know if we can clutch it again. Down, all of that goes right there. Thank you very much. This has been an epic adventure. Can we end it in epic fashion? Ladies and gentlemen, no, 573 might be pretty good, but uh, not the shiny. If I end up getting anything, you'll find out in the next adventure, but hey, Master Ball, shinies, hundos, that was pretty awesome. GG's.